What detail, huh? Beautiful stone, beautiful. This is my favorite site in the area, dude. This is amazing. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoppin from David's Been Here, coming at you from Kazbegi, one of the northernmost towns in the country of Georgia. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a four-hour exploration of this beautiful mountainous town. So you can see over here, we have Kazbegi Mountain, snow-covered mountain, ginormous. We can barely see it right now, but it's gorgeous. In front of that, we have the Holy Trinity Church, which is one of the main attractions here. And over here, we have the main center, right? So this is a square, you have some supermarkets, you have lots of guest houses, and what can you do here? Well, basically you can go hiking, you can eat lots of kinkali, and enjoy mountain views. Tim, what are we doing? We're gonna drive up to Gergeti Holy Trinity Church and enjoy the views from there. And that's right up there? Yeah. Right there, and look at the mountain. Oh man, you can see it now. So you say, if you can see it, it's like a sign of God, right? <laughs> like, like it likes to hide in the clouds, and uh, on uh, whenever it comes out, it's so beautiful. I'm excited, I'm very tired, 6.30 in the morning. Barely slept last night, but it's all good. Today we're gonna do a lot of things. We've got four hours to explore. After a two minute drive, we made a left, and we're going straight up to the mountain. So what do you see here? Well, you see a few different farmers, right? Some more guest houses to the left. But if you really want an awesome view, go to where I stayed last night, Alpen House, right? Alpen House? Alpen House, Alpen House. We're on the road out to the church. Uh, we're gonna, we're driving straight towards the mountain. We're gonna go up, uh, up a bunch of switchbacks and we'll get to the Gergeti Samava. 20 minute drive, really short, quick, let's go. There's two roads to get to the top. You can either take, you know, the paved road or off the beaten track, right? Yeah, so uh, the paved road, apparently there was like some uh, construction work on there, so we're going uh, on the off-road way up to the top. And over here we have a beautiful river. Wow, can't even imagine drinking that water. It looks so fresh. And that comes from the Kazbegi, right? Yeah, it's gonna come straight down from the glacier up there. So you have this like wild mountain river like already full of water. It looks so cold. After a 15 minute drive, we are up here at the church. Temperature has dropped dramatically. Bring your sweater, you will freeze in July. Incredible, over here we have some horses, we have some cow, and you know, these horses aren't wild. They're, their owners are out here somewhere, but pretty amazing, just like running here, enjoying nature. So hiking up here is possible, all the way to the top. If you wanna hike to the top of the mountain, it's four day hike, right? Yeah, so like uh, from here, like you gotta hike to a place called Medio Station, uh, which is a base camp for climbing the mountain. You can do that in around a day from here. And then once you acclimatize for a day, then it's a long 24 hour hike from uh, Medio Station to the summit. <laughs> the stray dogs, they're always so funny in this country. They always <laughs> dive on you. Okay, so we're gonna hike up to the top of the church. <laughs> Man. Go bother Alex, go bother Alex. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> So we've got these uh, slate rocks here. Traditionally was used like as a construction material. Like even today you can see some of the old houses like built out of this like sort of slate uh, tiles. Natural rock, look at this, beautiful. So I've seen houses like this in, uh, in Albania as well. Also in Italy, houses that are, you know, in the mountains, usually they use this type of material, right? Mm -hmm. It has this natural flat edge. So like you can just like really stack it up and like build something out of it as easily. And we finally made it to the top. We got a beautiful bell tower, dates back to the 13th century. And just so you guys know, if you want to, you can hike up here. It takes about 90 minutes. Yeah, something like that. Not so bad, but obviously because of time constraints, we just brought the car up 20 minutes. And yeah, beautiful, look at this. So it's incredible stones, lots of beautiful carvings right here on the doorway. And then over here, we have something really, really interesting. There's like a person. So I guess the person who built it, right? All right, let's go inside. The bell tower, obviously, always stay shh, very quiet. So there's a legend that uh, in the ancient times, when uh, Georgia was under invasion by, by foreign armies, they would take like priceless re religious relics like icons and crosses, and they would bring them up here to the mountains and store them in this church. It's incredible that they built this in the 13th century up here on the mountain. So they brought all the stones from the town all the way up here. And this was built over an ancient pagan temple. Wow, let's keep going. So next up we have the main church, and over here to the right, we have more beautiful views. And look at the size of these stones. I mean, just incredible, massive blocks. Look at this, huge. I can't even imagine bringing this up from the town all the way up here to the top of the mountain. <sighs> we 
what people did for religion, right? And then over here, please dress modestly. So remember, men, you know, don't come in shorts. Women always have to cover your head. And if you don't have, you know, if you came hiking, you came with shorts, over here they have some pants and they have a scarf for women. All right, let's enter the church. All right, so they have got a church service going on inside there. Uh, filming and photography is not allowed on the inside. It shows right here. Um, but uh, one of the deacons was uh, kind enough to let us uh, film him like lighting some incense here outside the church. I just walked inside. It's very similar to like how the bell tower is in terms of how dark it is. Just like super, super dark. You know, you have a few different pockets that you know where light seeps through. But you have icons, you have candles, and yeah, it's got to be really, really respectful here. And wow, I love this man. Look at all these carvings. It's like, how do they put this here, right? Yeah. This is insane. Love it. All these intricate carvings. Amazing works of art. Like, and this is this stuff is as old as the church itself. Just have been here for centuries and centuries. Walk around the church, get epic views everywhere you go. And this is the town, right? So Kazbegi is the Russian name, and in Georgian it's Stepan. Stepan Sminda, meaning Saint Saint Stephen. And where's Russia? Russia is uh, down the valley right there. This valley is called Dadiali, Dadiali Gorge. Dadiali Gorge, the town, the church, the mountain, and that's it. All right, let's go down. Maybe we we'll right. find some Kinkali? Yeah. I'm starving. I, I doubt it. This time in the morning, 7.30 in the morning, it's gonna be hard to find food here, but we'll try. And this dog is chasing us. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And as you can see, there's a few hikers going up to the top of the mountain. It's a four day trek. Uh, if you're very adventurous, you could do it. I'm not that adventurous and I have very limited time. So we're gonna go back down to the town. Hopefully we find some food and see what else we can do, right? Try to get down this road and we'll be there. Right now the main road's under construction. That's why we're going down this rocky, you know, path that's not paved. It's a, it's a little bit of a, a, a bumpy ride, but that's the Georgian massage, right? <laughs> exactly. Tim, this road is rocky. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's nuts. <laughs> it's nuts, it's nuts. It was super we, steep. Good thing we have a good car. Yeah, we have a 4x4. Four four. Woo! You still gotta hold on though, because it's very steep. There's a lot of potholes, you know, like just massive, massive holes. And over here to the left and the right, we have a small stream just flowing through. That's water coming from the mountain, right? Yeah, straight down from the glacier. I'm sure it's delicious. Yeah, yeah it's a great thing hiking around here. You can just like stop from any stream, like and drink, drink everything. It's amazing. So this is the village Gergeti. This is the same name as the church up there, Gergeti uh, Trinity Church. And yeah, this is the village on the other side of the Terek River from uh, uh, Stepan Swinda. We just made it back to town and uh, it's 8.40 in the morning. Unfortunately, most things are closed at this time. So if you're gonna eat breakfast, do it at your guest house. But we do have a guy here making some Tony Puri, right? Uh, Tony's Puri, so he's uh, mixing the dough, heating up his uh, clay oven. My friend, you good? Georgi. Georgi. Georgi, I'm David. And right here we have the Tony or the Tandoor. This is Tony Puri. Tony's Puri. Tony's Puri. It's a little burnt here, a little charred, but still good. I'm gonna spring a piece off. Obviously, this is from yesterday. So it's a little stale, but you still have some fluffy parts right in the middle. Mm. Oh, it's so good, man. I love that smoky taste to it. This morning, I need food. Oh, he has to wait a little bit. He said the tandoor or the tony is not hot enough. So he said in an hour, come back. He'll show us how he makes it. And yeah, let's go explore the town. Over here, we found a small cheese shop. So she has some meat. Add some cheese. Let's go inside. Let's try some cheese. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that is incredible. Salty, That's creamy, very creamy. I would have like a lot more. This is a special cheese from this uh, area, from the local cows. Uh, the uh, prices are here are written. So this this block is nine lorries. I uh, have one for 11 lorries here, one for 8 lorries, so you can come to this shop and uh, get fresh cheese from this nice lady. And they're open early, so highly recommend it. 9 lorries, so 3 bucks for this. <sighs> I can eat the whole block, especially right now, bro. I'm starving. I can't, I can't fast today. Mataloba. Mataloba. I got a nice big block of cheese. We got our cheese, we're gonna get our bread. And yeah, that's gonna be breakfast, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. We gotta put our own breakfast together. <laughs> awesome. And we're back here at the main center, right? So you have a hotel, a restaurant, the monument, 
and uh, yeah, everything's still closed, so just know that when you come, don't expect things to open until at least, let's say, 10 in the morning. Restaurants don't open till noon, right? Yeah, uh, 10, 9, 10, or something like that. You can start to get your kachapuri. And, uh, and hopefully we find a bakery because I'm hungry. I need something right now. No cha-cha. <laughs> we found a place that's called Coffee Corner. Uh, I don't know if they're open. For me, Turkish coffee. They also have a Kazbeki beer right here, which we're going to take one so we can try it later. So it's a lager, product of Global Beer Georgia. Looks great. This coffee corner is located on the main road. You're just gonna see lots of trucks coming and going because the border's right here. Right next to us, we have the Kazbegi Visitor Center for Kazbegi National Park. And there you have an information board that shows you the flora and fauna. So lots of flowers, lots of birds in the area. And it's time for some Turkish coffee. Oh, it's like piping hot. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's good. $3 for this delicious cheese. And it's different, right? Because these, uh, these cows, are literally grazing the land right here, 2,000 meters above. Let's take a chunk here. Organic grass-fed cows. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Dude, it is ridiculous. It's similar to feta in terms of like the like texture. Cheese, bread, and coffee. Mm. Nice one. Just walked out of the coffee corner and right next to us we have Tbilisi Marshruka. So basically this is a transportation service. You know, they have a minivan. It costs 10 gel per person, which is roughly like $3. Takes uh, roughly four hours to get down to Tbilisi and it leaves every hour basically. Let's uh, see if the bread's ready. Hopefully he started. Unfortunately, my friend here, he's not ready. The Tony's not ready yet, so we're gonna have to go and explore more of the area. We'll see you next time. Take care. All right, so we're heading out of town. We're gonna to go to a little village called Snow. Uh, it's a really beautiful area, it's a nice hiking around there. And uh, there's uh, some interesting sculptures we're gonna take a look at. And the village is famous for their water. We have it right here, right? Snow, so it's S-N-O. We're gonna drink snow in snow. <laughs> After a five minute drive, we made a sharp left and we're going through this beautiful valley, super lush, green, and over there we have snow. And you can see, so there's a tower there. I'm guessing there's a fortress here. Yeah, there's a fortress here. There's an old uh, watchtower with some sculptures that uh, some local guy has created out of rocks, uh, depicting the famous uh, writers from Georgia. Look at these massive, head sculptures. It reminds me of what they have in Turkey, but obviously that one's like ancient, this is new. The artist is still working on more right here. You see a huge rock. So he's just sculpting it, right? Wow, beautiful, huge. Looks like he has like some raw materials for some new sculptures here. And here you have some like completed ones. Yeah, I think this first one is marble. Look at this. Yeah. Man, what detail, huh? Beautiful stone, beautiful. Just incredible, massive blocks. They even like bring this here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do they do that? I mean, big truck, obviously. Gotta have a massive truck. Wow. These weren't kings of Georgia. These were poets, right? Exactly. So these are different poets and writers from different periods of history. Over here, we have uh, one of my favorite poets, Bajab Shavala. He's originally from a mountain region near here to the, to the southeast. Um, here we have Shota Rustavelli, a very important uh, poet from the 12th century who wrote the, the greatest epic poem of Georgia. This is my favorite site in the area, dude. This is amazing. So the artist that did this, no one paid him, right? He just did it himself. So the best thing to do is leave a donation. Donation box right here. Do I even have five gel? Yes, I do. Okay, guys, let's continue. We made it here to the village of snow and I'm gonna drink some snow water in snow right here by this tower. Wow, beautiful tower built on a, a rock, medieval watchtower. Looks like it's been like fixed up. You can see like they have these uh, stuff overhead for I mean, dropping on people and uh, if they try to get in. It's always how it was, right? They either had like super hot oil, big boulders or arrows. It was the only way to defend back in those days. This area, of course, being the frontier between Georgia and, uh, and Russia Empire. And the north, like uh, this area was always uh, filled with invaders. So important to have your defense. Snow water in snow next to the medieval tower. Oh, ice cold. Really nice. Product of Georgia. Let's continue. Let's keep going. And this is what I call a Georgian traffic jam. 
Cows everywhere. They literally don't want to move. But they're eating bread from the, from the trash. We've been driving for about half an hour. We're about to get to the Chivari Pass, the highest point on this road. And right over here, as you can see, this is the funicular gondola, right? Beautiful yeah, cable, car. cable car. And where does it go to? So this cable car comes from this side up to the ski resort on the other side. So the ski resort's uh, Gudauri. Uh, this cable car co costs uh, 30 laris and it takes an hour to get up. If you have time, definitely do it because they say the views from over there are stunning. All right, and here we go. Getting to the pass. And uh, I think I need another sweater, bro. It's too cold. Yeah, it's super chilly, man. It's super chilly. <laughs> what is this? This is a tunnel which is built through the mountain, uh, which is uh, how the road manages to stay open in the winter months. We just went through the tunnel to show you guys, but obviously during the summer months, you don't have to use that. During the winter months, that's the only way to get around here because there's so much snow. And usually it's big, big lines because only one way, right? It's one way and then they have to, you know, the police have to direct traffic. And like one way for a few hours at a time. A few hours. Yeah. So you can literally be waiting in line for hours. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a mineral water spring before. Look at this, beautiful. So we have the spring right here. You can go right below this little market and try the water, which we're gonna do right now. But I'm also gonna buy a hat. Yeah, so this is some uh, mineral water springs so on the side of the road. Water has like a high mineral content, high iron content. So you have this pink color. You can see like it's, it's left these like really beautiful deposits and like patterns in the stones. So which one of these is traditional? It's top row and the third row, they're both traditional. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. So she's uh, knitted all of these herself out of wool. They're all made out of wool, right? Obviously, we're freezing up here. I like this one, so it's like white with the cross. Obviously, Christian country, always gonna have the cross. Like that, oh, it's nice. What do you think? Looks good on you, man. You like white? Is it warm? Super warm. I mean, white, the black one's cool too. Yes, Black's fresh too. That's cool. That's cool? Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. oh, what do you think? Yeah, it looks good on you. She, she thinks it looks even better on you than the other one. I guess I'll try this I'm one too. It. Let's see. They're all beautiful. So how much? How much? What's that? 30 laris for one of them. So 30 laris is like uh, $10, right? $10 roughly? I think I like the white one the most though. White one's really cool because white and red, right? White and red is the, the flag of the country. But this one's awesome too. It's my Black, right? Just, this one looks the best on you. You think so? Okay, I take it. I take it. Okay. I love these designs. Beautiful with the cross. Really nice, comfortable, keeps you warm. So come here, run right next to the spring, and buy buy one from her. She wants me to try this one on too? <laughs> She's so funny. Besides hats, she also has scarves. Look at these. Beautiful. So, this is for a really, really cold day. Or if you go to the movie theater, you take this with you. <laughs> I like it. Maybe a little more. It's definitely frizzante. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to buy a real traditional hat from the area, it's these, right? This is what the shepherds wear. Beautiful, black, white, all wool. Okay, let's keep going. Let's continue this road trip all the way down. We have a long way to go. This is one of the prettiest places I've ever been in my life. It is stunning, beautiful landscape. Look at the mountains, the snow all over the place. You see the shepherds with the sheep, the lamb just grazing the fields. And over here we have a Soviet monument. So what is this? So this is the monument to like Georgian and Russian friendship. It was built to commemorate the 200 year anniversary of the incorporation of Georgia into the Russian Empire. But it's still a monument in a very beautiful place like overlooking a uh, very beautiful view. And this is the Soviet monument. Right next to it, we have a mini market. They're selling some fruits, obviously more wool, hats, scarves, socks, and they have honey. How are you doing? Chestnut honey. Oh my God. I mean, that one's like thick. They're very pasty. Mm, how much for that one? 25 pounds. 25 lies, so like uh, six, seven dollars, right? Something like that. Oh, it's good. And so you have like, what, like six different varieties here? So we have chestnut, we have like a medical one. The strawberry, there's mountain flower. Yes. All taste, taste? It's cold. Oh, very good, American. Mm. <laughs> this sweet, very good, this. This one. It's good. I'm gonna have to take that one. I'm gonna take one. 
one? Yeah, I'll take this one. This one. This one. Thank you. Yeah, I always take at least one honey from every country I go to that produces honey. You honey, you, you, you. Honey. I, I, I am honey. Yeah, I'm sweet, right? I'm sweet like. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Cabarjos. Cabarjos. <laughs> That's cheers, Cabarjos. Thank you. Thank you. So this is it, right? Right here it says date 1783 to 1983. And it's basically a depiction of the history between Georgia and Russia. Wow, I love it. Beautiful colors. Matter of breath. That was a little bit of a hike, especially up here in the mountains. You gotta slow down. All right, so this was built in 1983 by a Georgian sculptor Zurab Tseretelli, only a, a few years before the end of the Soviet Union. And we have the depictions of different traditional scenes uh, mixed with uh, the sort of the modern idea of progress. So you have like the traditional towers and then you have like cosmonaut. Here you can see the difference between the Georgian Orthodox Church and the Russian Orthodox Church, right? So this one and this one. Yeah. And then this is supposed to be like Mother Russia, right? But you see that the, the woman has brown eyes and like in this uh, mural, like all the Georgians have brown eyes. Eyes, all the Russians have blue eyes, so it's probable that this this woman's a a, a Georgian. Oh my God! Ooh, right? You have vertigo. Don't come here. It's really really windy. If you want to, you can also go ATVing. You can go horseback riding, and if you're really adventurous, you can go paragliding. I'm good with that. I, I don't have the stomach for that at all. And if you get hungry here, you can eat some snacks. I mean, they just have like some potatoes, fruit, and honey. That's basically it. We just passed a tunnel, and after that, three minutes later, we're passing through the ski resort, or ski resort town of Gaudi. Gudauri. 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 So you see just like, just resorts, right? It's all resorts, all you have here. And there's a supermarket here called a Smart Supermarket, which also has a bakery. So we're gonna stop there and eat something. It's already 11.30, and we are really hungry. All we had today was cheese. Yeah. Just made it to the Smart. Let's go inside, let's find some food. The cheese potato, you have spinach, you have this, this is chicken beetroot. leaves, yeah. Okay. This one's meat. So it's just all all pies. All pies. Yeah. And this is Lubiani. A bean pie. So what's the difference? Well, just the filling, right? Everything else is the same. Mmm. So it's like a it's like a bean paste. Mmm. Some garlic. Oh, nice filling. Wow. This only costs three lati, it's like one dollar. I personally like eating on the street like this, you know, really fast, on the go. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice fluffy bread. They also have wines. I mean, it's a big grocery store, right? It's food, right? It's fuel. Yeah, absolutely. Fast food in Georgia. Yeah, these are uh, pastries with whatever, whatever kind of filling. He's got a bean one, I've got a cheese one. Mm -hmm. If you're ever on the go, you just uh, grab one of these like Kachapuri or Lobiani, and uh, it's cheap, it's filling. Yeah, it was like 250, so like roughly under one US dollar. Yeah, exactly. Mm, and now I'm getting to a lot more spice, a lot more peppers in here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. And that's the area, right? I did, that's what it is. Yep. And that's it, my friends. We had an incredible experience here in Kazbegi. What a beautiful place, right next to the Russian border. This morning, we woke up bright and early, 6 30 in the morning. We saw the Holy Trinity Church. We tried some cheese, coffee. We saw the heads at snow. We tried some water in snow. Then we uh, went to the mineral waters. I bought a hat, which now I don't even need because it's so hot. Then after that, we saw the Friendship uh, Monument. Yeah, the right. Friendship Monument, uh, commemorating friendship between the Georgian and Russian nations. Exactly, beautiful monument, right there's a market, you can try some honey, buy some stuff, of course, buy some honey. And then we came over here to Smart Cafe, I tried that delicious pie, and that is it with Kazbegi. If you're ever coming to Georgia, definitely come up here, you know, it's a ski destination where we are right now. Up there is more for hiking, so you can go hiking for four days, you can go hiking for one hour, it doesn't matter, if you're into hiking, you can do it. And guys, if you love the video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Georgia.